Good morning, this is Sean Hayashi with Salkin Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And this little girl is Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea is a schnauzer that is in a teddy bear cut. And I have with me Truffles. Truffles is a puppy that is in a schnauzer cut. And today what we're going to do is show you how long it takes and what's involved in the daily grooming for a schnauzer that's in a teddy bear cut and a schnauzer that is in a traditional schnauzer cut. So here's what you'll need to do if you decide you want your schnauzer in a teddy bear cut versus here's what you will need to be prepared to do if you have a schnauzer puppy that is in a traditional cut. So you'll see here each of our dogs every day gets brushed and or combed out. So when I'm doing it myself, I use a metal comb that I really like a lot. And in fact, when a puppy leaves here, it goes with a metal comb. So on Gotcha Day this past weekend with each of those puppies, they went with a metal comb because that's what I do every day myself. But as you can see, I have um, friends who come in each day, people who work with me, and I like my dogs to be exposed to and socialized with other people touching them, interacting with them. So yes, I'm quite capable of combing all my dogs myself, but the socialization process of having different people who I know and trust come into my home and work with my dogs is really, really great for these little fur babies. And my dogs love this. When, when these folks who work with me arrive, my dogs are very excited to see them. And as you can see, this little girl is just literally laying down right now. She's used to it. All our dogs get this kind of treatment every day. So it's a really good brush out every day. Now, the other thing that we do weekly is every dog gets a toenail trim. We usually do those on Saturdays or maybe Sundays. And um, all of their toenails get just a little bit of a trim with the uh, Miller Forge trim. But when Anne's here and when Anne is doing grooming, and Anne is the one who's doing this right now, when Anne is doing their groom, she uses a Dremel and that's what she likes best. So groomers have different um, expectations and thoughts about uh, what they do with nail trims. And Anne has a very strong preference for the Dremel. I have a preference for uh, the uh, Miller Forge trimmer. And my, my preference is that I'm not coordinated enough, frankly, you know, to be really honest, I'm just not coordinated enough to do the Dremel, but I, I can do the um, Miller Forge. So when I'm talking about Miller Forge, I'm talking about this device right here. That's a Miller Forge for cutting nails. And we do have a video on using that. And when we talk about the Dremel, this is the Dremel that Anne prefers to use. And so when she's here, she does that. So that's a weekly requirement. But as you can see, she's also just combing out the pads of the feet. And when a dog is in a teddy bear cut, ah, yeah, there is a little bit more combing, brushing involved. It's so, really important to get under the ears because when they sleep, they're rolling. And this is a, a problem spot sometimes because it can get knotted. It's also really important to get under the armpits. This is another area that gets knotted easily because they're walking, they're rubbing. And then, of course, on their back legs, it's important to get inside as well as the outside of the back leg. And always getting close to the pads because they're walking there and that can get tangled. So I like to brush first to make sure there aren't any big knots, then go through with a comb to make sure I haven't missed anything. Perfect. And the other thing we do is we check every dog's bum every day. And uh, we do that, it's very important with little puppies to check the bum every day to just to make sure everything is cleaned and to uh, wash that area, sanitize that area if if there's anything uh, stuck, in other words, if there's additional poop that has remained on the backside of the dog, make sure you wash that off really, really well. But this bonding time with our dogs, we just love it. I, I get, um, I don't know, just excited about the opportunity to spend this kind of bonding time 
with my dogs. And if you don't have a grooming table, don't worry, you don't need one. You can do all this sitting on your sofa while you're watching our YouTube channel every day as we update you with things related to dogs. So this is the process here for um, working with a teddy bear cut, frankly, for any breed, whether it's a schnauzer, schnauzer, can't say it, schnauzer, schnoodle, doodle of any sort, this is what you need to be prepared to do. So next we're going to show you the process for a little puppy that is in a traditional schnauzer cut. So what you're going to see is it's a lot easier, frankly, when a dog is in the schnauzer cut. Now I know so many people say to me, Sean, I'm keeping my dog in a teddy bear cut. I just love the teddy bear look and I happen to love it too. So I understand that. And I just wanna set you all up for success with your puppy so that you know what to expect from grooming. So today we are helping set you up for success with your puppy by helping you to be prepared for what it will take to maintain your dog on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the other thing that's really important with grooming is to bathe your dog. We say typically every three weeks, every four weeks. Uh, here on um, in, in our uh, at Talkin' Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, we rotate our dogs into a grooming cycle so that they are bathed every three weeks, groomed every six weeks, and occasionally they need uh, something in between and we're always ready and willing to uh, bathe if a little puppy uh, gets a little bit messy, jumps into a food bowl or whatever, uh, we are ready to, to do that kind of bath. But every dog gets a, a bath with shampoo and conditioner. And our dear friend, Amy Lee, the Go Groomer, talks about why conditioner is so important every time you bathe a dog. And there it is. You can see that's much quicker for taking care of a little schnauzer puppy in a schnauzer cut. Well, Anne, thank you so much. We appreciate you and all you do for us. And um, we'll say, see you in the next video. Here's to good grooming. Bye-bye.